little bit of pixiness All the adventures come and join with us With a little bit of pixiness All the adventures come and join with us With a little bit back to Pixie Dust Adventure. This is Chloe and I'm Alan and we are going to be checking out from Newport Bay Club today yeah. and we're going to go for a couple nights at the Ibis down the road. Yep. A little bit cheaper obviously after the Marble Hotel and the three nights here, sorry Chloe, uh, which is going to last couple nights to a little cheaper hotel. Still going to Disney Park so yep. uh, we're going into the Disneyland Park today. We do a few things we haven't done this trip. Uh, train, boat, the other train at the back, the little train you ride, um, Pinocchio, I believe they are our plans for today, yep. throughout the day, and then this evening, again, hopefully, uh, the evening crew, as Chloe like to call them, yep. will be able to smash out some of our favourite rides again, Big Thunder, Space Mountain, stuff like that. Um, but more importantly, we did just do a PCR test, or uh, antigen test, whatever they're called, um, and I just thought, really quickly, we'll go through that. Um, I ordered them from a place called Breathe Assured um, from the British Airways website because they've got quite a few discounts on there at the moment. We like a discount. Um, and it was really simple. The test came literally the next day or the day after, really, really quick. Um, and all I did was then go online, booked a slot. Yesterday we had a slot booked, um, but the lady on the phone, to, or lady on Teams, told us to um, that it was too early, basically. So we rebooked it again for this morning. They were great. They rebooked it and everything. Um, there were loads of slots available um, at the moment, probably because there's not too many people travelling. Um, and we had a lovely lady this morning run through everything with us. Uh, did our COVID swabs up on both nostrils, so no throat ones today. And we came back negative, so that's really good. Still have to quarantine for 10 days when we get back, but there we are. Such is life, it's totally worth it for us. But I just really wanted to make sure that you guys knew how easy it is. You don't have to go out into Paris or anything like that to go and get a test done. You can take them with online. you. online. Yep. And then before you finish the call, they send you the certificate uh, that you're COVID free, that you've done the test, that it's official, and they make sure that all the details on it are correct before they end the call. Yeah, so, it was really good. I really do recommend using them. They they were great. Yeah, for they us. were great, and they were the cheapest so, one, which was good as well. Yeah, we like that. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to head off to the parks now. Um, maybe grab a tea on the way because I'm kind of craving a British tea. And I want a cinnamon bun. He wants a cinnamon. That's why we're going. That's it. Let's go do <laughs> I'm this. Busted. So interestingly enough, I was trying to film inside uh, for, to show you like the patient stuff, but we got shouted at. So you, apparently you can't film in McDonald's. Mental, but yes, I can come out here and film what I buy. I think this is a thing mm. everywhere though. I think you can't film in McDonald's in England and in America. I think it's I genuinely- Is it really? I think it's a thing. I, think I need so. to look into this because that yeah. was bizarre. Oh, it was a bit anyway, much, a bit much. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what I went for is three apple, mini apple pies and there's some uh, sauce, could you turn that off? What kind of sauce could it be? Probably like a, ooh, I don't know actually, I thought it was going to be, um, it looks like toffee or caramel. Mmm. Mm. Alan's gone for his cinnamon roll that he was after. I've been wanting this for a couple of days, <laughs> that's all right, so now I'm here with it. I've got a nice morning drink of Coke Zero and Chloe's gone for a green mint tea. Yeah, I couldn't find a normal tea uh, apart from Earl Grey, so this yeah. will do. McDonald's actually have lots of good pastries though. Yeah, they do. So if you're looking for something a bit more American that you can't find, I mean, they have macarons, which is obviously um, French, but if you're looking for some more American type things that you can't find in the park, pop down to Disney Village, McDonald's has got a fair shout. But don't film. But don't <laughs> film. <laughs> Hello, Hello, walking past Chippendale on the Kia Mini right there. <laughs> So cute! We're gonna go and do the steam train now. 20 minute wait apparently, but um, yeah, we're quite near the front, so good to go. So currently here at Disneyland Paris, the Disneyland train does one full circuit all around the park without stopping and coming straight back to this main street station. Um, I, I believe it's due to COVID because the last time we came, they had two sections open and you could get on either, go around as many times as you want. And I think that they're just trying to keep the, the queue shorter 
keep capacity lower and you know crossing of people for COVID reasons so you all load here at the um, one train station you go around once and then you get off like a ride it takes 15 minutes to go around we've waited the 15 minutes, uh, a minutes as we arrived one train left so it hasn't been that bad um, it could be a very long wait though if you're at the back of the queue it's just about to be pulling into the station and we'll be going on our journey Thank around you. the park On va sécuriser, merci de rester correctement assis jusqu'à l'arrêt complet du train en gare. Merci de ne pas oublier vos effets personnels et vos enfants. Passez une excellente journée. Ladies and gentlemen, we arrive at Mentally Station. Please don't forget to go to the room and your children inside the train. And please stay correct and seated until the... And just like that, we have completed the loop of the Disneyland Railway train. It'll be fun. I like to see all the little things that you can see when you go around the loop. Uh, yeah, and now we're going to head off and I think get some food. Kuna Matata again. Yeah. Okay, I went for the Yessa chicken. It looks and smells really quite delicious. And um, also get a Magnum with that as well. Coke Zero and the usual cutlery. And Alan went for. The Lion's favourite feast again because I enjoyed it so much the other day. Um, with this snack top. <laughs> with my, <laughs> yeah, baby Yoda snack top, snack top, Coke Zero, and mango and coconut <laughs> cake. I thought it was peach, I thought it was passion fruit. We were both wrong. Actually, mango, so we'll grab Mango. That one. <laughs> so, what did you think of the chicken at Yasa? It was really good. Um, it was quite sweet, which is fine. Um, also, you only get four pieces of chicken. So just bear that in mind if you really want a proper meat feast, properly head over to the Cowboy Cookout. But um, for me, I like vegetables more than meat, so it was perfect. I also like the size of the um, ice cream. I was thinking like a few years ago, I remember seeing the mini ice cream thinking, lots of rubbish dessert. We always have a mini ice cream. Actually, it's really quite nice. It's quite like a nice little sweet treat. It's more than enough. You don't need a big one. Um, so overall, I think it's really, really good food. I prefer the wrap, but the yasa chicken was great. So how was your second helping of the lion's feast? Yeah, lion's favourite feast. Love it. How um, was your mango uh, this cake? mango and coconut cake, very tasty. <laughs> interesting that we i thought it was peach he thought it was passion fruit um i think they all in those kind of those saucy things taste very similar don't they when they're like as a liquid yeah um, and what's been your favorite um what's been your favorite food so far and then what's been your favorite fast food oh that's hard that's hard so my favorite thing overall same as yourself was the manhattan restaurant at uh, marvel because the food was just fantastic all of it was but I also really enjoyed the steak at Chez Remy's. Um, my favourite, I think, fast food, oh, it's, it has been the BB-8 burger for a long time. I hadn't previously had this, and I think they're quite equal. The Lion's Favourite Feast is very good, and I definitely would recommend Kuna Matata. It is a very popular restaurant, and I'd also say come at half 11, not half past 12, because we waited like one minute before and about half an hour this time, so. So if you want to get in quick, come for opening, come a few, few minutes before and get in that queue. But yeah, definitely a uh, difficult favourite overall. It's, it's, I think, a tie between the BB-8 burger from the Hyperion and the Lion's Favourite Pizza. What a cop-out. <laughs> That's not a cop-out. <laughs> So I thought this would be a good idea just to quickly vlog. We've come out of the Disney Parks, Disney Village, and um, you can see the Newport Bay Hotel just there. Um, and we're just actually walking to the um, supermarket because actually it's really that close, like the uh, whole shopping mall area. Um, so it really is about like a 10 minute walk. Um, oops, that man just fell over. Um, <laughs> Hope there. he's okay. Um, the so yeah. So basically, my point is, I think that nobody realizes how close the uh, supermarket area with all the shops and different restaurants actually is to the park. It's literally right there. So um, yeah, get out walking, guys. Go and check it out. And uh, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> We're back in Disney. We are. So... It's been an hour and a half since we left. Yep. We walked all the way down to the shopping centre, closed, spent about 
four billion pounds in Sephora and we return to Disney. <laughs> we don't have a Sephora in the UK. We don't, no. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so an hour and a half and we're back and uh, it genuinely is like a, yeah. a ten minute ten walk. Ten minute walk, yeah. So I spent probably about 40 minutes in Sephora, not actually. Yeah, it was quite I did. Hard. Um, but yeah, we're back. So um, Daisy is here doing doing meet and greets, and I think we're going to head over to the bakery now because somebody wants, me. wants a bakery item. Yes, please. Always thinking with his tummy. <laughs> Always tummy with my thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're waiting to go into uh, Victoria's something or other to have a Chippendale milkshake. Here we are. Um, I keep forgetting the name of this place called Victoria's, I think. And anyway, we went for the Chippendale um, milkshakes. <laughs> Bless. Chip looks a bit, a bit like a vampire. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they look great. So we're uh, looking forward to these. We're currently hiding from the rain, um, but it's absolutely pouring it down now. It's quite interesting. Second time since we've been here, so we've been really lucky to be fair with the weather. And I've just been watching these guys pack away the uh, carts quite quickly. Hopefully, I'll stop soon. So, what do you think about the milkshakes? Uh, uh, they were delicious. Um, they were really tasty. They were just like chocolate milkshakes. Yeah. Like Nutella. It tasted really good. And what did you think about the tick and tack or Chippendale styling? Um, I loved it. I think that Chip uh, looked like a vampire, as I said earlier. <laughs> Bless him. Or he's got really bad tooth gum disease. Um, but they all were perfect. So, yeah, really good. What did you think? Fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, like you said, it was a good chocolate milkshake with a little Nutella twist. We just waited for the rain to stop. And once it stops, we'll be adventuring out. It's raining. It is raining. Um, it's coming down though. It's just uh, something to note. So um, we were just paying for our milkshakes in uh, the Victoria's doodad, and uh, they don't take annual pass there to the discount. So quite odd because normally it's just the carts that don't take the annual pass discount, um, and normally at the sit-down places or even the fast food restaurants they do take it. So bit of an odd one. We're not too sure why, but we thought we'd let you guys know just so it's not a shock to you guys. So it's quite a run if making an appearance at Disneyland Paris. It's Alan's favourite. It's Colour Run. It's Colour Run. It's Colour Run. It is dope. I like to call Colour Run Alan's boyfriend because he's got a bit of a man crush on him. I don't have a man crush, he's just a badass. He's got a man crush. He stops a laser blast in midair. Man crush. Badass. Man crush. So uh, the queue is massive right now because of the rain. But um, we'll try and meet him at some stage, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the rain has stopped. It has. However, are off. yeah, are off. But the lines are massive now. Yeah, they're quite long. Um, I'd like to meet Ren, but by the time we get in the line, it will be the character switch and we'll arrive and it'll be Boba Fett again. Which is fantastic. I love Boba Fett. Don't beat the thumb down. But we did meet him twice already. <laughs> so we're going to go uh, look for something to do. <laughs> I want this twirly picture at the castle, so we're yeah, going to do that. Why not? And then um, maybe look at that steamboat thingy. In the rain. <laughs> So out Hook and Smee have come to say hello to us after the rain. Probably because they don't mind being a bit wet. Um, but yeah, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Looks very cool. <laughs> so we've been wandering about trying to find something to do. We wanted to go on this boat. We rocked up to say come back in 25 minutes for the next one. When we arrived the queue was insane. Um, it's been raining and a lot of the rides have closed due to the rain and everyone is queuing for everything that's open which is about four things and so <laughs> the queues are insane and if we come back in like an hour maybe an hour's half then things might be much easier to get on like they usually are in the evening yeah. it's four o'clock now well half past four now 
So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that as well. I'm also thinking it might be time just to go have food now, a little earlier than usual, and then come back and have a longer evening and hopefully get on some rides more. So I'm thinking that's the plan. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. <laughs> Like everything else today, our food plan also didn't go to plan. Um, actually, the pizza place, which is literally right here, I think it's called Fapiano, um, it opens at half five and it's currently, well, it was half four when we got here. So we thought, uh, pop over next door to Five Guys, that's what we're having. Um, so Alan's just in there now grabbing our burgers. Um, he's got a Coke Zero. I've gone for a Budweiser, because why not? Treat yourself. Five Guys. Obviously, the uh, Italian isn't open to walk across the five, yeah. so we decided to go for five guys instead. Chloe's burger number two, bacon Chicken. cheeseburger with onion, salad, ketchup, jalapenos, and a hot sauce. And I am number one with onion, salad, ketchup, mustard. Simple. I'm sure burger. you were dying to know that information. Of course. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to try the pizza place tomorrow. Yeah. Um, now we know it's not open till half five. Um, I think on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday is open all day, so you won't have a problem if you're here at the weekend, but during the week, it doesn't open till half five, so there we are. Need for us. When the uh, Disney princesses noticed your ears, Ariel looked at me and she went, and I was like, yeah, team girl. Um, yeah, they're still cracking up, they're still going. Love it. Always cheers everyone up after a rainy day. We are literally following the princesses right now. Ariel mouthed at me, hello again. <laughs> yep, we've seen you three times now. Totally not stalking. This is the way to do it, get the best uh, look at them, best photos, just follow it around here and then they're going to turn in a second. Just down there. Five minute wait. That's what we like to see. And lots of hand sanitizer everywhere. <laughs> Alan's got this obsession about smacking the hand sanitizer in it his hands. It makes it sticky. It's fun. I don't know why. He's also just washed his hands and, as you all know, it reacts with water. We are number one. Yes. So we're going to sit. So we've been on the Casey's Junior train. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Yeah, it was a train. <laughs> it's a train, it's fun. It goes around the... Uh, the ride we've not been known the name of, it's a little boaty ride. Yeah, um, it's like, obviously it's a kiddies ride and it's it really is. good fun. And it's, yeah. the funnest part is like just waving at everyone on the boat ride. Yeah, that is fun. So, Most people wave back. Yeah, and like it's cute for little kiddies. It is, it's a cute ride. It's it is. And the soundtrack's really uh, catchy. <laughs> Okay, on to the next. Yeah, we're not planning because every time we say we're going to do something, it goes wrong. So we're not doing that, we're just going with the flow. Where will we be in the next few seconds? Make sure you keep an eye out for things like this. There's Donald here and there was Mickey up there. It's uh, the cast members like to do it and they like to do it with leaves as well, we've seen in the past. So I love it. A little bit of magic on the floor. Actually, this guy here doing it. So who's he making you? Oh, is it the beast? Beast. So we have just come into our room at the Ibis, and this is it. We're not in Kansas anymore, we're not <laughs> in the good stuff. 
and um, it's no it's a good room like i'm not it's like good. look we've come from you the know Marvel hotel, the Marvel fantastic. hotel and then yeah. the new york bay and then this is obviously the budget for us on this holiday yeah, but we're only here for two nights we're yeah. at marvel for one newport bay for three here for two yeah just so we could have the seven days but normally we stay here the whole time yeah normally so... we stay here the, the whole time because we've been to like walt disney world yeah. and we, we normally only come to paris as a weekend or i think five days was the yeah. maximum previous yeah because it was last year covid we couldn't go anywhere else yeah. also so normally we just stay here in the ibis it's fine Chief feel like in here. it's all good yeah they're always really nice it's always clean um but it is it's value okay so we're not looking at premium hotel disney anymore but it's fine with that in mind just have a look around so we've got some cool artwork um you know we've got some lights at the side here that switch on so you can um read um i bought my own pillow for here we've got a full length mirror which you know for those of us who like to uh mirror. check ourselves out that's uh there got a uh, tv um an area to put your shoes interestingly this tv is bigger than the one that we had in the newport bay hotel it is but smaller than the marble one yes by a lot, but bigger than the new one. and then we've got an area to hang clothes extra pillows um, an area to um, you know do your, I suppose makeup and whatnot here if you want. Um, actually, this is good for me last time because I did an interview here, so we're well, not in this room, but one very similar. This area to your bags. This is um, a little area. I quite like this. It's this quite a nice little little area to sit in. And this is our view. So that literally right there is the metro, and that takes Disney. Um, you can in fact see them right there. Um, however, it is walkable from here. You can literally walk straight there. Look, there's the metro. Yeah. However, we're going to drive because we've got the oh, yeah. past parking, we've so parked. we might as well drive. We've literally parked just around the corner from here. Um, yeah, it's it's free overnight. And then because obviously we're annual pass members, we yeah. can Paying just... starts at 9, but we'll go for Magic Hours at 8.30, so we'll leave before. Exactly. And it ends at 10, and you know, we'll come before. Uh, so yeah. the bed's a good size, everything's clean. Um, and then this is the bathroom. So it's in like a little pod, um, which is quite interesting. You see this in Europe, though, don't you? Yeah. yeah it's in Italy also. Um, so it's in the little egg pod, which I, I kind of think is quite cool. We've got hooks. We've got quite a nice clean shower, which is the most important thing. Let's all be real. Um, you know, we've got uh, rock your body, hair, body and face wash. You know, do it all job. Um, a nice shower um, is good. Um, me again, rocking my cat's uh, jacket, loving it. Um, anyway, enough about me. We've got the sink, we've got some cups. Um, okay, you know, not the same again as a Disney towel touch situation, but they're, they're good with our own towels for here. And then the toilet. So, um, oh, and actually a better hairdryer than at Newport Bay. So there we go. There, you know, it's not, not all doom and gloom. So, um, no, it is quite cosy here. You know, it's not bad. Um, oh, we do have like a, you know, we're right at the end. So we're here and then the elevators are here and we're just going downstairs. We're on the first floor. Um, I think we've been higher before. There is um, air conditioning as well. So that, that's yeah, the room. We've been on the top floor before. Yeah, we've been on the top floor. We stopped at Ocean, the um, the supermarket here. We've got a few snacks. Chloe got Pan chocolate, I've got some pan raisin. I also got some wine because it is cheap. so cheap. Yeah. Three euro it was two euros something something. something. For a bottle, yeah. Three euros. I was just like three bottles, take that home, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, so um uh Anna also got some Terrells because Yeah, but you've seen Terrells there in England. You can't so. get that yeah. at home. You did you did get um, something uh, Cheetos. I got some Cheetos, I love a Cheeto. But they're in the car. And I got some spicy Lays as well. Um Fantastic. which I thought cool. Um, um, so yeah, I think yeah. we'll wrap it up here. We had a really good day. It's we did. obviously been a rainy one. It's been a rainy one, so we didn't do as much as we normally do. Um, but we did go to the shopping centre in the day to go to Sephora. Yeah. Uh, we went on the rail road, which was fantastic. We had yeah. the Chippendale milkshakes, which we really loved. Yeah, that was cool. Um, tomorrow's going to be a long day, so we're going to go for Magic House and we're going to stay till park close. Anyways, Listen. <laughs> it's, uh, follow our Instagram at pixie dust underscore adventure give mm -hmm. us a like on the facebook pixie dust adventure and we'll catch you in the next video until then remember adventure, adventure is out there, there. with a little bit of pixie dust on adventures come and join with us with a little bit of pixie dust on adventures come and join with us